we're going to talk. We got a festival with uh, festival chair Kim Washer, who's been doing this for as long as I can almost remember. It's been a long time, Kim. Good morning to you. Good morning, Tim. Um, it has been a long time uh, that you've done this. It has been. Um, it's a challenge. I'll just put it that way. But it must be a fun challenge for you to keep coming back year after year. Yeah, I think this is my 20th time as festival chairman. Of course, you and I both sat in the president's seat. We've grown up with it. You know, yeah. we can blame our parents for this. <laughs> yes, yes, we can. And we talk about this every time that we, we do we an do. interview. We talk about the parents, and we always blame them because it, it is yes. actually all their fault. So. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. So... Yeah. Uh, another festival it kind of dawns upon us today. We do, we do it again today. We start with uh, you have four pageants and uh, many hydros today. Um, do you look? Do you reflect back um, year after year after year and think we need to change this or we need to do this or we need to modify this or I'd like to do this? And then what do you? I mean, what do you do when you plan from one year to the other? Well, we always want to bring new blood into it, new mm -hmm. ideas and. Um, I've been in Regatta 40 years now, and every year I pray, you know, we can just come up with something new and exciting for the community to participate in. Uh, but they seem to enjoy what we do year after year. Yeah. Uh, I've had several comments they'd like to see the bed races come back. Uh, but the businesses don't want to seem to have Ooh. to put all that work Ooh. into it. Yeah, yeah, I can look at you and yeah. say that, Ooh. right? Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, we have a full week, uh, something for everyone from, actually from birth until, yeah. you know, Whenever. our ages. Yeah. <laughs> and you talk about the bed race coming back. You know, the bed race has come and gone. We, they've had three-on-three -three basketball. It's another thing I hear a lot. Uh, it, it's come and gone. Uh, you, you've had balloons before, I know, as part of a festival. Um, th they've come and gone, and they're kind of at an element to the weather, too. But... You know, things have come and gone. Do you look at other festivals and see what they do and then maybe try to get some ideas or some different things? I do. Um, I go down to Louisville quite a bit and mm -hmm. look at a lot of their festivals. And, and they actually do a lot of the same things that we're doing now. Um, the hot air balloons is, is a big thing, but it's pricey. Yeah. And it's, it's hard to come up with sponsorship dollars for something that just lasts a few hours right. and, it's, you know, it's gone. and. Um, I actually have a cousin who that's what he does for a living and uh, he's tried to help us you know get it back in here and we're, we're working on that for next year so. it, it's in and you mentioned sponsorship dollars and it as with anything it's it a lot of it hinges on how much money you can bring in absolutely um, you know everybody around here I feel sorry for them kind of because they get <laughs> beat to death over and over by all the festivals and mm -hmm. and uh, you know I realize that they have to spread it around so yeah you know, we do the best we can with what we got. With what you have to work <laughs> with. And, you know, you start today with, with uh, the, the pageants and, and the mini hydros. Do you ever think the festival needs to be lengthened by days or shortened by days? Or is it the right length? Or what, what's your thoughts? Well, I kind of like to lengthen it out. I think we do 22 events in eight days. and <laughs> That seems like a lot. Kim's a tired girl. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah, I'm, you know, you take vacation to put on all these events. I don't think I have enough vacation to really spread it out a whole lot. And, right. And uh, there are, you know, so few of us mm -hmm. that participate and, and chair all these events. So, um, yeah, I would like to, to um, lengthen it out. Maybe right. even, you know, start like in May and just kind of separate out some events and do a poker run or something. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. you know, maybe, well, we tried the car show. And sure. Sure. And uh, that was a good event. It just uh, it was too big for us, right. you know, to do. So Right. Um, and that's and that's a a great point. You, we kind of hit on a little bit. You with the limited amount of manpower. Um yeah, and you're the festival chair, but each individual event has somebody taking care of it. Mostly, yes. Mostly, <laughs> yes. Not always, but mostly. Yeah. So it it would it comes to uh, down to a fact of of financing and manpower absolutely yeah, yeah. so all right uh, pageants today we start at the high school at noon today the mini hydros we'll talk about them in a minute they go at noon today at Kruger Lake uh, but the the pageants this morning it's the little miss and the miss princess yes and then this afternoon or later this afternoon at five it's the preteen and teen at the high school correct um, and then mini hydros at, at Kruger Lake but uh, 
it seems like every year you know it's it's everybody waits till the last minute to to enter into a pageant and we always talk about extending deadlines and right. looking for people and this year no different no different yeah <laughs> um but but the end result is you have enough to do it absolutely yeah, yeah. we uh, we were a little worried about the miss madison <laughs> regatta pageant monday night mm -hmm. uh, you know we had one one two three linger on and mm -hmm. then we had a couple withdraw and mm -hmm. Now we've got nine, you know, yeah. they all came in at the same time, so, and, and you run into that everywhere. I know the parade extension was a week, it was the 22nd, yeah. and it was yesterday, and I'm uh. sure I'll still get calls this week, so. <laughs> guilty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, you and I talked about that yeah. yesterday. That's so. right, <laughs> guilty indeed, but. Um, so folks come to the to the high school today uh admission charge to get in mission charge is five dollars six mm -hmm. and under is free okay and again there's there's two pageants it's not all one run together they'll have one at noon and then again one at, at five o'clock today Correct. many hydros at, at kruger lake i know uh carla and her group that they, they do a great job they do and i think they have 54 boats today wow, that's great that's a lot of boats yeah so, yeah they'll be out there for a while everybody got to go out it's a beautiful day and if you don't want to come watch little girls, mm -hmm. then you can go watch RC boats. Well, <laughs> you've got a choice. You can either be inside with the beauty pageants or outside with the RC right. boats. And there is shade out at Kruger Lake. Yes. Uh, you just got to find it. And uh, over 50 boats, they, they make some noise. They do a great job. And they keep things running all afternoon long. And that's yeah, they don't slow down one bit. Yeah. So they're yeah. kind of like us. And it's a, it's, a, <laughs> yeah, it's a free event, too. You don't have to. Yes, it is. To get yes. in. So, mm -hmm. And then we roll into Sunday. More beauty pageants. More Cutie pies, Cutie pies, babies. Right. Now, and, and folks can still enter that, is that right? Yeah, they will register there. We start at 12, mm -hmm. uh, registration at Bicentennial Park, and then the actual event starts at 2 o'clock. Yeah, and again, it's a, it'll be at Bicentennial Park. What's the your your age groups for tomorrow? Birth to 5 years old. All right. Yeah, and it's $10 to register your child. $10 to register your child, birth to 5 years old, Bicentennial Park. I think some of the literature we had out earlier had Fireman's Park, but there were some issues with there were. electric and things down there. So it's been moved to Bicentennial Park. And again, uh, birth to five years old, you can bring your kids down and, and enter them in the pageant. It's it's a fun time. It is. Yeah. It is. They're cute. Yeah, they are cute. They are cute <laughs> indeed. Um, you mentioned uh, had a had a. Uh, a challenge getting girls uh, to enter and some years it's like that this is not the first time it's ever happened where you know it's the the entries have come in late um, it, it sometimes works like that and and you know as well as anybody that everything seems to roll in later than sooner and this is one of those years but it's all come together it has it has Amy Ralston has worked really hard uh, getting all this together we've got a few changes from last year you know last year the auditorium was under construction sure. so we moved we are back at the auditorium and uh, ready to go. High school, you can't say thanks enough to them for letting the, the folks that we got to use that because it's a it's an outstanding facility to be in to do what. what yes, it doing, is. Yes, know. it is. So, Monday night at seven at the high school admission charge for that as well. Yes, it's ten dollars to get in. Also, six and under free at that event. And then we roll into Tuesday night, and it is the RKO water ball fight. Correct. Um, we've been doing this for a long time. Uh, the local fire departments, I believe we have eight teams, mm -hmm. uh, are competing. And what they do is they actually got some practice the other night down at the Ohio Theater. But uh, <laughs> yes, not the practice they wanted. But no, no. But uh, they have a ball in the middle of the course. Mm -hmm. And, of course, they shoot water at that. And whoever uh, uses the or keeps the ball on the other side the most time, that's who wins. And right. Go to another round. Um, we like supporting the fire department, sure. all they do. Um, that's a free event to the public, and it's on Main Street in front of the courthouse. In front of the courthouse. And th that was an event, and correct me if I'm wrong, that, that went away for a year or two. Is that right? It did. Yeah. It did. We had a couple little problems. Right. And, uh, so we decided just to give it a rest, mm -hmm. and then we brought it back. Yeah. And it was very popular event right good crowd always Absolutely. for that especially the the warmer it is the uh, yeah the kids kind of like to get wet you yes know? yes they do <laughs> um, there's a movie Tuesday night is that right also yes mm -hmm. uh, Bicentennial Park City of Madison is yeah. presenting the movie Madison I've seen that you think yes <laughs> I've seen that yeah. yeah it's it's one thing to witness it live it's another thing to see it that's it's, true it, and we kinda, did both yes, so. <laughs> we did. and that starts at dark again at the yeah. Bicentennial Park that is a 
free event. Free event as also, well. yes. Uh, Wednesday night, we've got our street dance or our XXDO street dance at Fireman's Park. It'll run from 8 to 11. Um, that's another free one to get in. Everything's free throughout the week. Right. The only thing that, that we have an admission charge to is the festival pageants. Mm -hmm. Everything up till Friday night. Uh, for the music festival, there's mm -hmm. of course you have to have a wristband to get into that. Right. Parade, of course, is free. Right. And then Saturday night we have our fireworks. Mm -hmm. It's also free to the public, mm -hmm. but there, you know, you have to stay out of that music area. Ah, that's right. That's right. But now, again, we're trying to give it to the community and give it to them. You sure. Know, try and put on as many free events as we can for them to enjoy. Well, and that's you know, and again, that's where. Uh, businesses, local and regional sponsorship dollars come into play. So if you if you're able to secure those, makes having a free event a little bit easier. Absolutely. Again, street dance coming up Wednesday night. I think we're going to give away some stuff down there too because right. I've, I've got stuff I like to give away. So we're going to do that. We'll go from eight until eleven. Earlier in the evening, it will be a little more our kind of music, if yeah. you will. Well my kind of music <laughs> it will be the we're the same age it, I, I know <laughs> it'll be the it'll be the older genre of music for folks like me in 70s and 80s and that kind of thing and then when we get in later on into the night we'll do more of today's best music but that'll be wednesday night 8 to 11 at fireman's park thursday uh free music free music we have uh, thunder thursday mm -hmm. uh it's a new event this year at bicentennial park free to the public once again yeah I believe they're going to start at about five o'clock, mm -hmm. and uh, so just bring your chairs and come on down. We'll have some food vendors. Uh, we also have the Mad Paddle Homebrew mm -hmm. Contest Thursday night, mm -hmm. and that will also be. It's going to be over in the corner right. in Bicentennial Park. Uh, that's also a new event, so I think that'll uh, be interesting, and yeah. I hope it grows over the years. And and I think and again, correct me if I'm wrong, but. No carry in alcohol at Bicentennial Park, is that right? Correct. Right. No carry in alcohol at Bicentennial Park. Everywhere else on the riverfront, it's okay. Right. Bicentennial Park will have their own self contained alcohol that you can purchase. In right. There. Yeah. They have two beer gardens mm -hmm. and uh, they're going to have craft beer mm -hmm. and uh, available. So, yeah. Uh, we've gone through Thursday. Friday, we kind of ramp things up with, with things going on. Of course, it's a free Friday. There's going to be no action on the water, but there's plenty of other things going on. Yes, there are. We're going to start out early Friday morning with the uh, Madison Regatta Celebrity Golf Scramble. Uh, that will start at 8 o'clock mm -hmm. at Sunrise Golf Course. Uh, $75 a person. You'll be paired up with boat drivers, boat owners, um, some of the the bigger people involved in boat racing with H1 and mm -hmm. with GPW. Um, I believe Jimmy Shane's going to play, and, oh. and that's always a good time. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, we we'll start that. I think they tee off at 9 a.m., but right. registration starts at 8. And you can still register to play. Yes, you can show up that morning and mm -hmm. register to play. Yeah, and well, good luck to all those that do that. So. Absolutely. That's right. <laughs> um, We'll talk about the parade in a minute. The The music festival gets underway, I think, late Friday afternoon. Is that right? Yes. Uh, gates open at, I believe, 4.30. Mm -hmm. And then music should start around 5 o'clock. And it'll run all Friday evening. Uh-huh. Until midnight. Until midnight on Friday. Yeah. So some great bands performing. Again, the Rooster Tail Music Festival at Bicentennial Park. Uh, gates will open late in the afternoon. Music will start, and then it's off and running. German American Bank, Madison Regatta Parade, Main Street, 7 o'clock. Always one of the bigger events for the festival. It is. We do draw a great crowd, and I appreciate the community coming out and showing their support for that. Uh, we have about 85, 90 entries right now. Like I said, that's probably going to change this week. Mm -hmm. But um, it's, it's a big event. We um, added some new things this year. Uh, we're going to have the, the big helium balloons like they do in the Macy's Parade oh, yeah, and things yeah. like that. Right. Uh, we've had some sponsors pick that up and, mm -hmm. and take on that challenge because they're actually going to walk them down Main Street. Oh, wow. So, uh, yeah, um, I look forward to it every year. It's it's a great event. Yeah, It's a great event, but it's a huge event to put on. I mean, there, there's... You, you have to coordinate all the units and get everybody situated and I know I know there's always last minute changes additions deletions and all that good stuff so it's oh, yeah. it's a work in progress it is um Dottie Burris and Merle Horton did it for 30 some odd years oh my goodness I can't understand it <laughs> <laughs> I think this is my fifth one and yeah 
you know, it's it's a challenge. It's probably one of the the harder events to put together, but um, it's a lot of fun, and mm -hmm. I hope that everybody enjoys it. So. You you come to appreciate what somebody else does when you have to step in and do what they used to do, what oh, seemed yeah. like pretty much, you know, as easy as tying your shoe. Exactly. You but know. it's not that way. No, it's <laughs> not. It's not. I wish it was, yeah. but. Uh, yeah, I, I always, you know, they always seem to have it so together, and I thought, oh, the piece of cake. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. And I would think one of the harder challenges of, of putting it on is where to put everybody when you're staging them. Yeah, we close a lot of streets. Yeah, you do. <laughs> we probably tend to make a lot of people upset that day, <laughs> but, you know, it's all for a good cause. Sure. Uh, yeah, we run hydroplanes, and we're going to run the hydro helium balloons up Jefferson Street. Mm -hmm. uh, with all the dignitaries on Jefferson Street, we run things all the way out to the American Legion mm -hmm. on Jefferson Street, uh, down Main Street. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we take up a lot of room, but we get them through pretty fast. It's, yeah, that's it's amazing it, once you yes. start how fast it goes. It goes through pretty quickly, and... Uh, uh, folks will get down there early and get their lawn chairs staked out. I mean, you you drive down through essentially Friday morning and you see chairs already out. Yeah, I think they start about 5 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> long before I go. That's right. Mm -hmm. But it's it's a fun time and another free event. And again, thanks to German American Bank for stepping in and sponsoring that. Yeah, so they've been great. Uh, we move into Saturday. That's, I know that's your most favorite day because that's, that's when things wind down for that's you. That's right. I am, <laughs> I am on the downhill slide there. That's right. Uh, the Courier starts things off with the 10K run walk at Madison High School. Yeah, I believe that starts at 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. and winds down the hill and ends up at Lytle Park yeah. on West Street. Uh, that's always they always have a really great turnout. Um, they they do, and it's been going on for a lot of years. A long time. Yeah. Longer than I've been doing this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Cornhole tournament. Got yeah. one of those this year. Yeah, that's another new event. Uh -huh. Always looking for something new. Uh, the Cornhole tournament it will be at Fireman's Park. It's sponsored by Fat Boys. Mm -hmm. And I uh, believe it starts at noon. And um, it, they're paying out everything they take in. So uh, I think that'll be a fun new event. Yeah, that will be a fun new event. So, and again, registration goes the, the morning of, and you can just register when you when you go to play. And, Absolutely. Um, have a good time with cornhole for those that do that. And i got to tell you a little story. We were in Gunnersville last weekend. Yes, we were. As, yeah. as, as, as you were, and we were sitting in a restaurant. And we were watching ESPN, and they had a cornhole tournament on. Really? Yes. Wow. And, you know, I knew cornhole was pretty serious, but those guys didn't take know it, it gone to that really level. serious. That's right. <laughs> I'm not very good at that. I, you know, I was a bowler, so <laughs> yes, I, I, I tend to want to bowl yeah. instead of throw it. So. Yeah, I know. It, but uh, for those that are interested in cornhole, it would be a good opportunity to, to uh, not only do that, but come down and enjoy a little bit of Madison Regatta. Yeah. Music Festival goes again on Saturday, another big day. Gates open late in the afternoon. And right, 5 o'clock. Have your wristband and go... Go listen to some really good music yeah. Saturday night. I think Saturday night is going to be fantastic. Mm, they got some really good uh, uh, musical bands uh, that will be playing. and um, Enjoy that. Fireworks will cap things off Saturday night. And I, What can you say about that? We just had a discussion yesterday about fireworks and how much people enjoy them. Oh, yeah. yeah and you can tell by looking at the riverbank, it mm -hmm. is full yeah. on both sides. Yep. So yeah. it's, it's a great event. We like to uh, thank the Legion, the City of Madison, Commonwealth Engineering for making that happen. Um, that's another event. There's a lot of work behind it. Mm -hmm. And um, I get to go out on a barge and wow. loads of fireworks. And but a free event. It is free to the public. Yeah. Um, that's the way the American Legion, you know, when we started our, our association with them years ago, right. that was the deal. You mm -hmm. know, they wanted it to be free, and we've continued to do that. Yeah. And, uh, thank them for their support and, uh, and of course it's always a patriotic fireworks event yeah so. absolutely and again city of madison involved commonwealth engineers i think th is this the first time they've been involved yes yeah yes so thanks to everybody that made that happen and again um that'll go uh, saturday night at dark and come down and bring your lunch here a lot of folks do oh absolutely it is thick we've got vendors you know so they can come down and eat and get something to drink yeah and, get stuff for the kids and and just sit and relax and have an enjoyable evening and that's a rain or shine event too 
it is. <laughs> no rain. Yeah, we no rain. We did that a couple of years ago when we started answering the phone. Madison Regatta, we shoot fireworks in the rain. <laughs> That's right. That's exactly right. It poured that year. I remember it that. Awful. It was, uh, a matter of fact, that would have been 2009, if I remember right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, goodness gracious. And it was pouring, and the fireworks were just going up oh, in the air yeah. like there was nobody's business. Yeah, we don't like to have rain days. No, <laughs> no, 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 absolutely not. But, again, thanks to those that are involved. and um, We do uh, boat racing, wristbands, music festival wristbands, combination wristbands. Right. Those are still available for purchase. You can yes. either do one or both, however you want to do it. Um, most of the festival events, as we've mentioned, are, are free to get into. Right, so. yeah. But you got to get that wristband. Got to get that wristband. Get band. down on that riverbank. That's uh, right. I think we're going to have some exciting racing this year. Um, as you and I saw in Gunnersville, it was side by side, yep. deck to deck. Yeah. Hair pulling. <laughs> it, it, was, it was pretty exciting. It was a great race. From the shade tree that I found to broadcast <laughs> underneath from, it was. It you was had our, shade. I found shade. Oh I was a long way away from the race course, <laughs> but these old eyes didn't fail me, so it was nice. But it's a, that was a beautiful venue, and you're right. Saw some great racing. Uh, the GPS and and also the Unlimiteds put on a great uh, event. Um, hopefully a return in 2019 for down there but uh, I believe it will yeah. um, there's some great people down there mm. they learned a lot last weekend yes yes much like we've done over the years right. and, and you just have to keep plugging yeah. at it and go well, Kim I, I always say thank you for what you do but I don't think that's enough thank you for what you do well I appreciate it and I thank you you know like I said we've <sighs> been at this since we we're kids we don't know what else to do other than oh, no. Go regatta. No, I, I, <laughs> so, I don't know what to do with my regatta. time. That's right. You got to regatta, right. indeed. And I want to thank the community and sure. all the, the sponsors that, that make this happen, you know, because we couldn't do it without them. So. Yeah, a lot of local sponsors will step up and, and that you, you may or may not hear on a regular basis. And I think that's, I think it says a lot for their support for this event because mm -hmm. it, I mean, you look around at the people it brings in and, and the financial impact it has on the community and it, it's, it's quite, quite large. It is. It is. So, Kim, thank you very much. Thank you, Tim. Enjoy your week. You too. Uh-huh. All right. That's Kim Washer, the uh, festival chair for the Madison Regatta. Where will your sip take you? Enjoy any large Minute Maid slushie, like the new Blue Raspberry, for just $2. Or get any size soft drink for a dollar, only at McDonald's.